Hey end people, even after a long fight, they always try to look good on camera. Instead of pulling their pushing long materials. And are fruit flies ticklish? All in my new update of Camponoto Sanctus. As time goes by, it is round about 10 weeks since I have my Camponoto Sanctus colony, which arrived with one queen and three workers. I'm happy to say that they are doing really good. I hate to do it, but let's have a look inside the nest. Look at the queen chamber with all the brood. It's a bit shaky because it's fr uh, I filmed it freehand and yeah, it's, it's not a good position. Look at this, very cool. The population is 10 to 15 ants now and you can add the same number if you look at the brood within the next weeks. So I'm really, really happy about that. I think the next update will be that they are moving in their first show setup. Let's have a look around the nest. You see, here's another chamber, but you see they panic. They don't know where to put the brood. They feel exposed. So you see, they really, really like to panic very easily. So we better leave them in peace now and let them do the end stuff. End stuff like this, for example, the construction of a proper nest entry. Since I found out that they like to do it, I offered them some soil, some cocoa fiber, so they can have a little bit of construction. You see it here through this little window into uh, the window into the nest entry and um, yeah they like to do that look at this behavior what is she doing marking the nest entry the gray white stuff you see here this is not mold they just pulled out some um, some fibers from the cotton wool and yeah and put it in there I'm glad that I have this founding uh, setup with a little outward so I can watch all these amazing things they, they are doing. I get to know them better and better. You don't have that when you, uh, when you are raising them in test tubes. Let's go for some action and put in some living fruit flies. Attacking and then she's running back to the nest again. But she will be back immediately and um, see, see what, what happened then. I put it into slow-mo because it was so fast. She's attacking again. In slow-mo you can see that she is literally jumping onto the prey. Fascinating footages, don't you think?
Here is the whole scene in the original speed. So see how fast it was. Interesting hunting tactics here. It's a kind of hit and run, you know, biting, spray and then leave it. Really strange. They never they never keep on to the prey, they never hold it. They always look at this. Unbelievable. It is strange how long an ant of this size is struggling with one single fruit fly. I would like to do a comparison with my tiny Fidola ants and see what happens then. Yes, dealing with that filthy fly, you better clean your antenna. We see a little bit of a mistrust between sisters here, look at this.
after reinsurance that the fly doesn't move anymore and a long hard struggling, it finally goes to the nest. I'm really happy how things are going with my new Camponotus Sanctus colony and I promise I will make videos about my other species, my other ants very soon.